Hi, uh, I did do a reaction video to this, but um, there was so much footage that I'd have to go through, um, that, and it was taking so long to um, convert that I thought, no, better not. <laughs> um, but I'll run through the thing. Um, the pre-show are dull as usual. Um, not uh, not the matches or just the um, going over everything pretty much. Because I watched, I caught the end of um, this week in WWE, so they were pretty much going over that again. Uh, so it was kind of like, eh. Um, but we got a match, uh, Stardust versus Zack Ryder. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, uh, they went over how Zack Ryder last Monday night apparently uh, challenged for the US title at his home town, so that yeah, was pretty good. Um, then we got the uh, Miz TV segment. This actually, uh, this actually led me to believe that um, the Miz was going to be the replacement in the match for Rusev. Uh, I don't know why. I just thought, oh, okay, this is going to be. Uh, that's what's going to happen. Um, but apparently not. So, okay. Uh, yeah. So the Miz is still around, but not doing, really doing anything. Uh, you got the. Then we kicked off the show, the the actual show with the uh, Tag Team Elimination Chamber match for the Tag t Titles. Um, this was pretty good. Uh, the There was pretty good tension in it and all that. Uh, the The New Day won. Um, I'm kind of kind of disappointed because uh, the Ascension looked pretty good in this match. So I'm hoping that someone was paying attention here. They definitely showed some real aggression. Some real, like, um, pretty good. They put in a pretty good performance. And, uh, just before they got eliminated, I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing the Ascension win the, the belts tonight. Um, I really wouldn't mind. Uh, but then, of course, they got eliminated. Uh, yeah. Um, this does not seem right. <laughs> Then we got the triple threat match for the Divas title. Um, it says here that they only got six minutes. It didn't seem like six minutes. It seemed like a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, the everyone was barred from ringside. But I think that was just because Brie wanted to hang out with a boyfriend backstage for a while. Um, Nikki retained and that was kind of disappointing because Nikki really didn't put in a lot of stuff here. Um, I, the only reason I think they're leaving the belt on her so long is because maybe she's going to be the big star of the next season of Total Divas, and that really doesn't <laughs> make sense to me because Paige and Naomi really tore it up in here. Um, there was a bit of a botch with what was probably supposed to be a reverse Hurricane Runner um, by Naomi um, on Paige. But overall, I think that I think they put in a pretty good performance here. The Divas did this time around, uh, except for Nikki. Then we got the match. I don't know. Like this is the, the probably the best match uh, the match that you could possibly see. Um, Kevin Owens came up, uh, came to wherever the hell they were holding this. That they're going to. Uh, he was bringing NXT to WWE, and man, he he went all out. He got, uh, um, I'm not sure if uh, who was carrying who in this match, but definitely Kevin Owens just threw everything at John Cena. Um, it looked like, uh, and <laughs> there was a bunch of false finishes, a uh, bunch of stuff, and. Uh, Kevin came out on top, um, so definitely I think uh, I think it's time for I think um, it has been time for a while now for someone to put uh, seen to put someone over, and he put Kevin Owens over, and pretty good uh, job of this. Um, my only 
hesitation for this is this should have been a one and done thing. I think it should have been something that they left until Kevin Owens is called up to the main roster. And then they would revisit the rivalry in a full, uh, revisit everything in a full blown thing. Um, but they want to keep it going. Obviously, I was like, I want to see a rematch. But further thought on it made me think, hey, maybe we should just leave this, or should have left this be. Um, because a few matches later, they announced that they were doing it again. And. Yeah, um, they've also announced a few of the competitors in the, the next and two, next fortnight for the um, Money in the Bank show, and uh, Randy's in it, uh, Kofi's in it, I'm just like, oh, there's six people in it already, and they want to throw even more people into this thing? Please don't. Um, six, to me, six is enough. Uh, then we got, uh, unfortunately it was Neville versus Bo Dallas, and no matter what these guys did, um, they probably weren't going to be able to top what what just happened, and I think the crowd was kind of burned out. Uh, these guys tried, um, but, uh, then we got the Elimination Chamber, and oh my god, this was so dull, um... Dolph was trying, uh, for the brief amount of time our truth was in there, he was trying. And Mark Henry, um, he did his bit uh, in there, because he was a replacement for Rusev, which was okay, I guess. But then, yeah, um, Seamus tried some D tactics. He, he put his crucifix in the... Um, to lock in, keep himself locked in the his chamber for a while, and uh, yeah. uh, and unfortunately this just drained me like nothing. And then there was um, then after this we got the uh, the the match between Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, and I think the c crowd was still kind of burnt out after the Owens match because uh. They were reacting to stuff, but um, only the big stuff. And I was kind of drained after this. I think I, I actually think I dozed off for a few seconds in this match. Um, and that's nothing against the guys. I just think I was a bit tired. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, Ro uh, originally Roman Reigns wanted to be at ringside, but Triple H would have kind of botched on that. And I thought, no, 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 no. That was just, but that turns out they were just setting up for the finale of the match, where everyone was going to jump in the ring anyway. And I'm like, oh, why? Uh, could have been a cool moment had he been like. And I actually, while I was watching the show, I think it was like the pre-show. I said, I was like calling it as a turn for Roman, uh, and he was going to become part of the authority, but. Obviously, I was wrong because they did a different thing than I thought they would, but they did something a little bit more predictable. After I realized, uh, after and after things happened, but um, kind of like I'd say, look, uh, the new day, uh, the the tag team elimination chamber was all right. The women's match was all right. Uh, Kevin Owens versus John Cena was friggin' awesome. If you can, if you just want to see that match, just go ahead. Um, I'd say Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins was alright, but uh, Neville versus Bo Dallas was just like a, a pretty good TV match. Um, the Intercontinental Championship um, uh, Elimination Chamber was. Eh. Oh, by the way, Ryback won that. I was like, why? <laughs> uh, like, okay, okay, let, let me run through it. I would have been happy if Seamus won. Would have been happy if uh, Truth won it. Would have been happy if King Barrett won it. Would have been really happy if Dolph won it. Would have been kind of a little bit, uh, with Mark Henry won it, but I would have been like, well, 
no one would have called that because no one really knew that uh, Rusev was injured until this so it would have been a cool way to open up the show on Monday night uh, Mark Henry well, in a continental champion Ryback I was kind of like uh, um, providing uh, providing you can do something with it that's alright um, but I, I kind of think certain belts certain, um, should be like for certain people like I think the Intercontinental title has kind of really most of the time been like a high spot type guy, a workhorse type guy, and the the US title is more of the um, title for the big guy that they're trying to build up to eventually get the world title. Whereas the Intercontinental title is usually the workhorse title. But that's just my opinion. Um, this has gone on pretty long enough. But overall, I think I think you could check out the show if you missed it. But um, uh, I think I think it's all right. Uh, I, I think it's I think it's better than the last show where everything was like. <sighs> I think it was better than payback, so I'd give it uh, a six out of ten, just because I think. I, I think um, it's uh, the Kevin Owens match really put it over the top as like a a good a, a good show just for that match alone. Um, sorry, I deleted all my reactions. It was just taking way too long for everything to save. And if I'm ever to do that again, do do that again, I will let you know in advance that I'm gonna save the all the stuff and put it up the next day because it just. Uh, it takes so long for everything to save, and, um, yeah. It's not like a, a Doctor Who reaction video where it's just like, it's, it'll take a little bit of time, usually it, it is up later that evening or something, but, uh, or the next day. But with this, it would have to be the next day, because it, uh, like it was saying, it was going to take four hours for everything to convert, and then I would have to do the, um... The minute I get up, I'd have to do the editing and everything. So I may do it, but I probably like uh, I'd have to pick out a match that I'm really enthusiastic about, really pumped for. Uh, so yeah, and it would have to be something like really um, like Kevin Owens versus John Cena, where I'm I know I'm going to be reacting. Uh, this was like. Uh, I might do I might do an NXT show because they're usually only about two hours, um, and I may like in future things might skip most of it, <laughs> um, the pre-show and just do reactions to the matches and then just turn it off, turn off the camera until we get around to the show itself and just do it that way. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, guys, I think it was pretty good pretty good show not great I've seen better but I've seen worse as well so that's why I give it a 6 out of 10 just because you have to if you haven't go watch the Kevin Owens versus um, John Cena match uh, it's probably the best match Cena's had in a long time um, and probably just another day at the office for Kevin Owens <laughs> okay see ya